everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. How are you? Today is going to be a little different. It's going to be one giant commercial on my favorite varnish. I'm going to show you how I use it. I think you guys are going to love it. Huge shout out, as always, to Jen Neal, double N on Jen. Uh, check her channel out, Jen Neal, Res Inspired. Uh, she turned me on to this product months ago and wanted me to use it as a pouring medium for my bloom recipe. I didn't care for it as a um, ingredient in my uh, pouring medium, but last night I tried it as it's meant to be used as a varnish, and it is amazing. It is this stuff here, Bright Tone by Craftnique. It is the bomb. It is better than any varnish I have ever used. Better than Tri-Art, better than Liquitex, better than Winsor Newton, better than Minwax Polycrylic. You name a varnish, I probably have tried it. This rules, it is non-yellowing. It has no odor. It is self-leveling. It is a hardener, so your paints are hard. You know, the finish. It is amazing. So I'm gonna show you how you just quickly brush it on with any kind of brush whatever it doesn't matter it doesn't streak it's not thick and goopy like try art where you, if you don't do it perfectly or like liquitex if you don't do it perfectly you get streaks it's amazing so i'm going to get you down um i'm going to do three really quick one has no varnish one has one coat and one has two coats and then i will let them dry take them outside refilm and show you what they all look like see if we see a difference between two or three coats I'm kind of doubtful about that. I don't think we're gonna need it. So let me get you down and we'll get started. All right, so first one I wanna show you is this little eight by eight. This one has two coats. It looks amazing, amazing all the way around. It's smooth, it's glossy, it's nice to the touch. It's high, high gloss. Um, you're never gonna beat a resin finish. Let me say that up front because you won't get the depth of resin, but if you're just you know, anti-resin or you want some shine, you, you just can't be beat. I typically do not like to resin on canvas. So these are canvases. Uh, so I'm happy about that. That um, I don't know, I just don't like the look. That's a personal preference. So we're gonna give that a third coat. I'm gonna just set them off to the side. This one only has one coat already and look at the shine on this one, amazing. And we'll do that guy. And the first one we're gonna do that has nothing on it is this little bloom piece. This is a 10 by 10. And real quick, and I mean quick, I'm gonna show you how I just brush some of this stuff on and then I'll get the camera down um, at the end when I'm done all three to see if we can see any brush marks or anything like that. I'm just taking a quick look at the back of this. Um, oh, it also has UV stabilizers that'll keep your dyes and stains and paint brilliant and protect the colors um it dries crystal clear it's just it's just amazing um low odor low voc non-yellowing etc so this is what it looks like on the inside and it's fairly watery <clears throat> excuse me fairly watery. I'm just going to give that a little stir. And this is just a little paintbrush I got at the dollar store. And seriously, I am just going to do this pretty quickly too. And give this a quick brush. I don't have to worry about the lines. I'm going to check it for coverage. Make sure I didn't get miss a spot. There's the front. I'm going to do my sides real quick. Oh, and speaking of commercials, uh, if you want to really help out your favorite artist, hopefully I'm one of them, um, one of the best ways you can do that is to let the commercials run. For those with monetized channels, letting the, commercial, um, the commercials run, those five second or 10 second commercials, by not skipping those, you help out your favorite YouTube artist. Uh, get a few more pennies in their monthly check. All right, that's it. 
in the time I said all that, this one is done. Let me just come down low. Uh, I missed some spots here. Here, I missed a spot there. Anywhere else? So just kind of get down eye level with this and give it a look. Oh, I see a spot I missed right here. And that's it. And any little lines I'm making with my brush within, oh, I don't know, three seconds, it is already self-leveled. This one is done. So I'm gonna put that one off to the side. So that one had, that's its very first coat. It had nothing. I'm gonna grab this guy here. This one has one coat already. And this one's an eight by eight, so it's gonna go even quicker. And it has a coat already. I don't have to worry about streaking on top of that first coat. I'm gonna do this. I mean, how fast and easy is this? And I love that it has no smell. It's amazing. Do my sides. I actually had another um, video, which was a continuation from my last one, um, ready to post. And I got so excited about this product. I told Jen, I'm like, I gotta post a video. So, oh, by the way, Jen has a um, coupon code and she told me I could go ahead and put it in the description. So if you're interested in trying out this product, just click on the little down arrow in the bottom right of your screen down there and um, it'll take you to the description section where there's a discount code for um, the bright tone varnish. There's that one in the time I was talking, done. Make sure I didn't miss anywhere. This one looks great, done. That's two. Remove him off. Now we'll do the one that already has two coats real quick. Just, you know, I don't really have to film it, but I, you know, just for verification purposes. So this one has two coats already, and I just want to see, um, I know a lot of people will try to add four and five coats of varnish trying to get that resin look. After a point, you're just wasting your varnish because it's just, it just doesn't have the same properties as resin. But we'll see if there's a difference. There's no way we're going to know unless we test it out, right? So we will see if there's a difference between two coats, one coat, two coats, and three coats. I'm gonna just zoop around this side, check my sides, and voila, done. All right, I'm gonna put the excess back in here. This rinse is clean with just some hot water. That's it. And good to go. Put the cap back on. This dries so, so fast. Um, it is dry within one to two hours. And you are ready to put another coat um, after three to four hours. And that's it. So I'm going to uh, pop my camera off and come down and try to get a sideways view so you can see what these look like wet without any straight marks, and then I'll come back um, later when they're dry and we'll do a little comparison. One second. Okay, here's the one um, we just did. This one um, just received its third coat. There's the bright tone. High solids, top coat, clear gloss. And I'm hoping by going like this, as I look, kinda kind of flat you don't see any streaks any lines nothing it just it's like resin in that respect in that it self levels like amazing same with this one over here I don't know if I can get it there's just no streaks and the real telltale one is always the first one because that's the one that usually streaks up on me so here's this guy and you don't see, I'm trying to get a flat, you don't see anything at all. Kind of amazing. So I'm gonna let these sit uh, and dry for two hours and then um, I'll come back and show you the dried results. See you in a bit. 
Okay, it's been a couple hours now. These guys are dried. This is uh, the first one. This one has three coats of the uh, Craftnik Bright Tone, this stuff right here. Uh, I'm gonna try my best to hold it up so you can see, or obviously you can see the shine. Um, one thing you'll notice is you cannot see any of the, uh, the canvas at all in this piece. It's completely smooth quite quite glossy and not a brush stroke to be found and you guys saw how fast I whipped that on there kind of sloppily I might add um, just for purposes of, of this video I would have gone uh, a little slower more careful in real life uh, but there's that guy here's the one oh, it's sticking to my tarp that has two coats and honestly it's not going to convey. I cannot tell a difference between two coats and three coats. Like the level of shine, there's no extra depth or anything like that. If you're adding a third coat, maybe you're you're fixing something. I don't know. But um, for this product, you don't need the third coat. So let me put that Mr. Two Coat to the side. And then Mr. One Coat here. Now, it could have been just this painting um, where you can see some of the texture. And for one coat, it's perfectly fine, um, but you can tell a difference in the gloss factor between one coat and two. I'm so worried this isn't gonna show up on the video. See, like you can kind of see um, the canvas you know what I mean? Like the, the actual um, weave of the canvas. Now that's because it could be partly because this was, you know, a bloom pour and everything was quite thin um, and not a lot of paint on this guy. Um, but the bright tone here, this is like all canvas. Whereas when I do the second or the third coat, uh, you don't have that little bit of texture. It is just uh, much, much more just straight gloss across. Now, if you'd like that look and like it a little softer, that's perfectly fine. I think this one is actually quite lovely just with a single coat, and I probably won't add a second one. Um, also, not a single brush stroke anywhere. And it's two hours later and dry. Same for all three. So, um... That's my little review, I guess. I absolutely uh, adore this product. Let me show my face and say goodbye. Uh, yeah, I just, it's phenomenal. Definitely, definitely one of the best varnishes I have ever used. Um, can't say enough nice things. So that's it for me, or is it that? I gotta go bug Jen for the, uh, hopefully a discount code that I can put in the description. Um, for you guys, because I know it cost, I want to say it's like 21 bucks for, uh, it's kind of on the, a little bit more expensive. It just doesn't say how many ounces it is, probably 16 ounces. So it's like 21 bucks for 16 ounces plus shipping, um, which when I buy my Minwax Polycrylic, it's 18 bucks. So a couple bucks more worth every penny. So, yeah, that's my commercial for the day. That's it for me over and out, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.